up? What's up? What's up, my fellow Pisceans? Welcome, guys. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Thank you for joining me for a moment in Becky's House of Cards. Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel down below so you always know when the next video does go live. And this is really going to be just a short video. Uh, this idea that I came up with, we're asking what it is that you need to let go of in this time, Pisces. So I'm going to draw two tarot cards and then get some oracle advice. And this is just going to be either in the week the upcoming weeks or the upcoming month whenever you guys click on this video okay so actually here I am let me shuffle there's a reason for that what is it that Pisces needs to let go of coming up source what messages do you have for Pisces what it is that they need to let go of what messages do you have for Pisces what they need to let go of coming up what will help them on their journey what they need to let go of what does Pisces need to let go of what messages do you have for them? That was a funky, funky shuffle. Okay, whatever. Generally, they're not that weird. Let me do one more. What is it that Pisces needs to let go of? There we go. Sometimes they just don't want to cooperate, right? Alright, so what does Pisces need to let go of? Two cards, source. What does Pisces need to let go of? What messages do you have for Pisces? What they need to let go of? Okay, I keep hearing this one wants to come out. Okay. What other messages do you have for Pisces? What do they need to let go of, Source? What do they need to let go of? One card, please. What do they need to let go of? Alright. They want this one. Okay. So let's turn these over. Let's see what's up here. Okay. So we have the Knight of Cups in reverse and the King of Wands in the upright. Okay. So this is weird energy because, like, I feel like somebody's going to bring an offer to you, Pisces. And it's almost like you've expected this offer to come in, but you have your back turned to it. And I feel like this could very well be something that. Um, you were very much at one point in time really connected with you were very much concerned with having and what you're not seeing okay is that this offer this situation was actually very shallow for you it was very much in your ego in egoic mind um it could be a business proposal it could be a a job it could be a love you know we've got emotions here whatever it was you're emotionally connected to it so uh, it could be a Scorpio it could be a Sagittarius I also have Taurus energy that's uh, shining through right now it does not have to be but that could very well be but they're saying that this is what you need to let go of because it's keeping you from a future commitment so even if this offer does come in from this person, you have to be willing to say no to this person because you're going to be able to see the truth of what this is. If this is a job opportunity, you have to take a step back and really look at this from a place of groundedness and a place of clarity because this is more about your egoic mind coming through saying like if it is a job oh well it offers this much money so I'm going to have this much money and I'm going to be able to do these things and source wants you to take that out that's a very shallow mindset it's not about having those things this is about you finding happiness for yourself and and with this king of wands here like they're telling you let this go so that you can step up into this strong energy this may not be your energy you're the king of cups yes okay but right now your emotions are in this night energy but it's in the reversal because there's something about being able to stand your ground in the future when it comes to your life whether that's with it like i'm getting this energy of your commitment commitment to life commitment to work commitment to family commitment to to whatever your commitments are this is that energy of being able to commit fully and really have the balanced energy to take care of it and to set boundaries strong boundaries and to walk in your truth with passion and inspiration from yourself and that's why they're saying say no to whatever this offer is you have to let this go i think this is something that has come up recently or it is something that's coming up right now um this offer could very well be from a sagittarius like i said it could very well be from a sagittarius it does not have to be but this is heavy Sagittarius energy, heavy Scorpio energy coming in. 
And like I said, there's uh, also Taurus energy coming through. So they want you to say no to this offer so that you can learn your own boundaries. Because I feel like this offer that's coming, it's not sincere. That's the word. It's not sincere. There's something about it that's just, it's rooted more in fear, or it's like this person or this situation is afraid that they're not going to have you, Pisces. And so they're going to tell you whatever it is that you want to hear so that you'll accept this offer, and you have to stay grounded in yourself and listen to your heart. I think that you are aware of this. Like, I get the sense that you're very much aware of this situation, and that's what Source is saying. Listen, keep listening to your intuition. Keep listening to yourself because it's not going to lead you wrong. Like, even if it's, even if it's scary, even if it's scary. Yeah, this is about you reconnecting with your childhood innocence, right? Like, like if you say no, it feels like things are going to fall apart. Let me see if I can get that to focus a little bit better. There we go. So what it's saying is this, look in the background here. Like where these mountains are, it's so dark back here, right? But then you see the light is shining down on these two children. It's like sometimes you have to walk through the darkness just to find the light. And so what's going on is this is going to bring up some triggers for you when this comes. And Source wants you to sit with that darkness so that you can shed light back onto your childhood self, onto your inner child, because your inner child is dying to come out. There's an innocence that needs to be found here because this situation was actually denying you your innocence. It was denying you that beauty from within your soul. And so I think now that it's coming back around, I feel like you walked away from it at one point in time or you walked away from something that was very much mirroring this situation that's about to arise. And you know how it feels to walk away and to gain clarity about your own inner child here. But this is about cementing that into reality for yourself and being able to embrace that in all that it is. And there's something that's so gorgeous about that. Like, it may be, it, it may be scary. It may be very scary to do this. But look prosperity is coming for you there's a reason for this because you have something that's promised to you that's coming and stability underneath that and look cycles underneath that right like so this is about you completely ending this cycle of being duped by people who are smooth talkers that's what i keep hearing of being duped by situations that present to you an idea of what they are when they really have nothing to do with what they're saying they do look at that the soul butterfly this is about reconnecting with your inner child so you can let your light shine. Your light shine like like this situation that's coming back around is going to make you question everything that you've done, okay? And it's coming around because it's like this situation is going to promise you some sort of commitment. They're going to promise you that maybe they've changed, that the situation is different, that they've grown, that now they're going to offer you more money or whatever it is. But don't believe that because at the end of the day, as soon as they get you on the hook, they're going to reel you in and they're going to go back on everything that they said. And it's just so they can get your energy, Pisces. It's just so they can get your energy because Source is bringing you into this. They're shining the light on the inner child that's within you and your inner child is connected to guess what your soul this is going to help you follow your soul's purpose they said moving forward you're going to always understand what's coming out from you the truth of who you are you're going to be able to embrace the truth of you and not be afraid of that anymore because this situation you didn't realize it for some time no matter how much you were connected with it like I said, this is a commitment of some sort. It does not have to be a relationship. It could be a friendship, a family situation, but it's a commitment of some sort that puts you in a place of doubt. And now that you have the opportunity to let it go for sure, like to really, re excuse me, to really release it, you're connecting with your inner child. And this allows you to really, truly open your heart up to the new beginnings that are going to come to you. And you're going to know exactly what is meant for you moving forward in the future. So don't deny yourself this. Look, we have the 28 card, which is 10. That is the completion. Running right into 39. Prosperity. Okay, like you have this completion that's coming. Your angels are walking beside you. Do this for you. No matter how good they present the situation, remember that you have to put yourself first. Okay, Pisces, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel, set that notification bell down below so you always know when the next video does go live.
Thank you for joining me for a moment in Becky's House of Cards. And until next time, go forth boldly, my fellow Pisceans, and courageously find creative ways to rise above in life, laughter, and love. Until we meet again, peace out. I love y'all. Bye.